Hi, peeps. So, it's been a while since I've done a vlog, and I realized um, last time I did one of these, I was completely ranting about my landlord and our electric bill, um, but I never came back to tell you guys that it all got resolved. But today, I'm doing a vlog because of a couple reasons. The first is, I was inspired by Miss Christine Mason Miller, aka Swirly Girly, um, who I know that she's been inspired by uh, Marissa over at Creative Thursday, and there's a couple of people that are doing these really fun vlogs. But the reason that I mentioned Christine is because she's telling stories, and yeah, I'm all about the stories. Um, but the other person that inspired me was uh, Jenica over at the one, the one little one. Um, Vlog spot, I think it is. I'll have to double check. I'll put a link on the bottom of this for you. Hi, Jenica. Um, Jenica sent me a message, and it was about my bucket list. And I'll, if you haven't been following my blog, I wrote a bucket list, and one day I'm going to put it on a sidebar. Um, but I really want to start crossing things off. And what Jenica had said was that she wanted to find out some of the stories about some of the other things that I had already done on my bucket list. And I thought, yeah, well that may be kind of fun to share those stories someday, because some of them are kind of definitely fun, if not funny. And I also thought it would be a really good way for me to document when I do cross something off my bucket list. And instead of writing about it, why don't I do a vlog about it? So that's what I'm going to do. So um, today's story, uh, or item on my bucket list, is, uh, what is it? I have it over here. Number 48. Apologize to Kevin Spacey for interrupting his breakfast that one time when I, have a, when I was having a total moron moment. Um, and I'm going to apologize to Kevin Spacey later on in this blog. And the reason that I'm doing that this way is because I thought to myself, self, uh, if I ever do get an opportunity to meet Kevin Spacey again or be in the same vicinity as he is, am I going to go up to him and apologize? Therefore, giving myself another moron moment? Um, no, I don't really want to do that. So I thought, why don't I apologize to him here in this space? And who knows, maybe through the magic of the internet, <laughs> someday he may come across it. And uh, uh, even though he won't remember any of who I am or what happened that day, um, maybe he'll get a little chuckle out of it. I'm following him on Twitter. And perhaps one day if I find myself brave enough or drunk enough, I will send him the link and see what happens. But first, before I do that, I'm going to tell you the story of my moron moment. There's this place here in Los Feliz called Fred 62. It's kind of an <clears throat> kind of an upscale little fun diner. For example, they serve french fries and origami brown paper bags. It's just kind of fun. But the best part is that they have this counter. So Jimmy and I would go there because there'd always be crowded for breakfast. You'd always have to wait for a table, but there was never a wait for the counter. So we would just go there, sit at the counter, kind of a little retro doing that, and um, read or talk or people watch, and, and it was great. So one fine Saturday morning, we uh, stroll into Fred 62, and we take our seats at the counter, and I think we ordered uh, drinks, and I am start looking around. You know how you just kind of do? I'm just looking around, and I look to the side of me, and I noticed this guy wearing this hat. He had a, a cool baseball cap on, and it said it was one of the uh, New York Fire Department caps. And this was not too long after 9-11, I believe, but I just remember thinking um, at the time, like, how cool I thought his hat was, and uh, really that was, like, it was a fleeting thought. And I did one of those things where I, as I was turning back around, my eyes went from the hat down to the the man and or the person in the face and went back around and then I realized it was Kevin Spacey sitting one seat over from me. Before I go on, I just need to, to let you guys know that um, I adore Kevin Spacey. Love him. I wouldn't go so far as to say he's kind of like my movie star boyfriend or my film boyfriend. I'm, it's not that I think he's, even though I think he's insanely handsome, it's, it's not kind of that for me. I just really think he's... Um, wonderful actor and he's just one of those guys that I know I would just have a great time sitting down with because he just has that really sarcastic kind of dry sense of humor and I'm just really drawn to, to that kind of funny I think it's funny anyway plus 
uh, my husband resembles or has been told many times that he resembles Kevin Spacey so read into that what you will <laughs> but I love Kevin Spacey so uh, as I come to this realization that he's sitting one seat over from me I did a s other suite to where my husband Jimmy was sitting next to me and we had this r really intense silent conversation because I looked at him and he looked at me like dude I know that's Kevin Spacey sitting right there and we have one of those moments that you do, I don't know, maybe if you've been in that situation where you see somebody that maybe you're a little starstruck about, and we start doing this thing where, um, you know, all of a sudden you're trying to distract yourself from the fact that that person is right there. So we're doing that thing where we're trying to distract ourselves, but trying to catch glimpses at the same time. So we're all like, doing that and doing that and trying to be really subtle, except that I'm sure he is really used to that and I'm sure that was a lot of what the, the hat and the paper was about yeah we're classy like that over here um, and you know it's Los Angeles we always have celebrity sightings but we're just I mean you know you, you just don't really bother people while they're doing that because why I don't know maybe it's just because I've been living here too long but Kevin Spacey I was definitely having a, a moment with at that moment anyway his people come to meet him, two guys, they move to a table to have breakfast. Jimmy and I finish our breakfast. The whole time I'm thinking like, what am I going to do with this opportunity? So I finally turned to Jimmy and I said, I'm going to talk to him. And without missing a beat, Jimmy looks at me and says, uh, not before I leave, you're not. <laughs> He's very supportive in that decision. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Um, but I just thought, you know, this is one of those opportunities. When am I going to have it again? And I have to, I have to say something to him. I have to tell him that I, I really appreciate everything, or his his body of work. I do. I know it sounds really kind of silly and corny to, to say that, uh, uh, to an actor, but I just felt that I needed to. So Jimmy could not pay the bill fast enough and hightail it out of that restaurant. So I'm thinking, all right, you know what? I'm just going to be really calm and casual I'll make this quick and I'm just gonna go over and just float on over and say what I need to say which is just Mr. Spacey I appreciate your work thank you so much for your contribution have a great day and float on out the door instead what happens is I go over there and I start doing this um Mr. Mr. Spacey hi um Mr. Spacey um I just wanted to um 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 miss um not a joke, no exaggeration. So he looks at me and he's looking at me and he goes to reach out for me and he just says, looks straight into my eyes and says, good morning. Which of course brought me back down to the non-stammering state and uh, it relaxed me a little bit, but, um, and then, you know, he's just looking at me and he said, hi. And I'm sure just because he's the coolest and he's used to these types of things and it probably happens to him a lot, I don't know. So, yeah, then I was uh, somehow able to continue and just say what I needed to say, which was thank you so much for your contribution, and, and I appreciate your work, and I think you're a great actor. And uh, then I went on my merry way. Um, I don't remember what the conversation Jimmy and I had afterwards, but I can pretty much guarantee Jimmy spent a, probably a good few hours or the rest of the day, weekend, who knows, making all kinds of fun of me. So, um, that's the story. So here's the apology. Mr. Spacey, my name is Stacy, and you won't remember that morning at all, because I'm sure this happens to you all the time, but I just do want to sincerely apologize for interrupting uh, you during a breakfast that you were obviously having uh, a meeting or something with these two other gentlemen, and I truly did not mean to interrupt that for you. Um, I'm sure it's hard enough being in the public eye that, you know, it's just hard to just go out and enjoy yourself without people like me <laughs> interrupting. So please accept my apology, and um, that's it. Okay, so I'm crossing number 48 off my bucket list, apologizing to Kevin Spacey for my moron moment, and... Gosh, that was fun. Maybe, I mean, yeah, we're going to do this again. I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to go back and talk about stories, and every time I do something on my bucket list, we'll cross it off right here. So thanks, you guys, for hanging in and watching, and have a lovely weekend.
I'm out. Take care. Have a great weekend. Mwah.